Following the dream of an audacious maverick Frenchman, André Citroën, the founder of the Citroën brand, to make cars more accessible to everyone. Citroën India has recently unveiled its second product and the India spec Citroën C3. The C3 with more than 90% localization and validated by testing it for over 2.5 million kilometers will go on sale on July 20th, 2022 with booking starting on 1st of July. At the unveiling, the car maker announced that it is giving comfort of customization and options of styling the car the way customers want it with 10 exterior color combinations and three packs such as Vibe, Elegance and Energy with 56 customization options. Besides, it also offers 70 accessories to satiate individual tastes. For more on cars design, let's meet Mr. Pierre Leclerc, Global Head of Design at Citroën. He's going to talk about the latest sensation Citroën C3. Welcome Pierre. Hi. How are you? Very good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. So, oh, typically, well, for American and European yeah. uh, OEMs, designing a small car is a big challenge. I, the, the proportions of a car that is under 4 meters with an interior package like we're offering here can be a bit surprising at the beginning. So, uh, you know, it's you, you, you learn from it. And uh, I think what we did with this car to bring it to this SUV territory with a couple of uh, uh, design features that I will explain afterwards was the right thing. And it works perfectly done with a ground clearance that is a bit higher yeah. and a car that is a bit ver more vertical and extremely compact. Now, the great thing about those four meters is that you really have the four wheels in the corners. Yeah. And that's what designers want. Yeah, but you have enhanced the interiors, yeah. I mean, the room, mm -hmm. and while maintaining the you know, size. Absolutely. And a bit of a challenge. And also you have raised the height. So you had to manage with all the center of gravity, the, so many sort of packaging. How was it possible for you to do? But, but it was so important. You know, we, we, we met some uh, Indian customers a couple of years ago that uh, uh, when we asked them, okay, which, which are the three first things you would like, you know, at the end. Uh, and they were... They were telling us we want interior space, interior space, interior space. Always. Of course, they want to have an exciting car, and we, we try to give them an exciting product. Mm -hmm. But we understood how important interior space was, on top of the fact that you know our first brand value is comfort, yeah. and this is really something you understand when you try the car. Yeah. So great interior package. Yeah, it's wide. You have mm -hmm. all the room you want yeah. in the front, in the back, and on the exterior. Then we had to uh, use all the tricks to uh, make it really exciting. Yeah. And so many accents uh, in the front, for example, the DRLs that you have planted uh, along with the field, that's fantastic. What, what, are the, I mean, what is the key motivating factor for, to do this? You know, I'm a big believer of a global DNA uh, strategy, and that's really what we have done here. The, yeah. What you see here is a front face that we have launched with the C4 yeah. a bit more than a year ago, and with the C5X uh, lately. So it's something very natural for Citroën to have the two chevrons mm -hmm. becoming two crumb bars, mm -hmm. and at the end, they become the DRL, simply, and they create this kind of triangle. Now, this, this triangle, you see, with, you see it when it's lit, and it's extremely recognizable. And in a strategy and a DNA, you want something that is unique, recognizable, and that is also coherent in between the front and the rear. So you also have those two lines spreading in the rear. Yeah, that's fantastic. Even on the sides, if you mm -hmm. take, there are several elements that you have added. Like for example, uh, the cladding over here, uh, that gives a macho look for the car. So, what, what's your uh, thought on this? Absolutely. But, you know, super important is to make sure that around the wheels, you have enough muscles that really gives you the stand on the road. So all the section that you, you don't see so well in white, but if you see it on the zero car, it, it's very, very muscular. Then we're using black plastic for two reasons. First of all, it's to pro protect the car and to bring it to this SUV-ish territory. Yes. And the other thing is that we're using this graphically as well to uh, enlighten the car. Mm -hmm. That's, you, when it comes to interiors, I think you've worked on many things. Like, for example, the theater-style uh, no, seating. Yeah. Uh, what was the uh, thought behind that? Well, obviously, if you put the, 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 the people in the back a bit higher, then they will have more view towards the outside. And it's part of comfort. 
you know, if you if you feel like you you don't see anything uh, towards your side, it's not too cool for the for the passengers. Okay, but do you have to uh, compromise on the you know front seats to manage? No. Not at all, actually. Um, what we have done is to give quite a lot of space above uh, the front passengers. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this was also a request of the market, and uh, we went for it. Mm -hmm. We were, you know, we, we, we really used the verticality mm -hmm. of the car to mm -hmm. our advantage to have something pretty unique at the at the end in terms of silhouette. Okay. Uh, when I look at the seats, uh, mm -hmm. it resembles to me like you know the modern aircraft uh, mm -hmm. seat. Where it is thin and comfortable. What kind of a work has gone into this? You just said it. Thin, thin and comfortable. That's always what we we, we try and to make. What, what's the thought yeah. behind? It has to be thin. It has to be lightweight. Nevertheless, it has to be super comfortable. You don't know how much we worked on the width, on the shape of the of those seats, and on the density of the foam that we have used. Yeah. And then afterwards, in terms of the color and materials, mm -hmm. to make sure that you feel perfectly comfortable in those seats. Yeah, Lo lots of work. When a lot of we tried many times, um, different sections, different configurations, different forms, to make sure we are doing right. Yeah. Uh, I was told that this car has a suspension that is for uh, designed for all kinds of uh, roads. Mm -hmm. So uh, the seats should also support that in. Absolutely. So you said no, the selection of uh, the uh, foam, etc., that mm -hmm. plays a role. Uh, what kind of uh, no? Uh, initiative that you have taken to specially support uh, even the suspension systems? Well, I think it, you have to try the car and, uh, and understand it. Um, I'm going to Of course, the, all the work that has been done by our engineers in the suspension is always something we invest a lot of time and a lot of money in uh, mm -hmm. to make it a real Citroën. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, the seats are structures, foam, thickness, density, core and trim, of course. Okay. And when it comes to the in instrument cluster, you yeah. have a separate 10-inch uh, mm -hmm. infot infotainment you know, yeah. that you infotainment. mentioned as infotainment. And also the uh, instrument cluster behind the steering wheel. It has a very peculiar design. You're right. Uh, some trapezium or something like that. Mm -hmm. Any any uh, speciality for this particular design? We, we wanted to make sure we have a great digital experience. Mm -hmm. right? Now, at Citroën, we want to focus on what you have on what we call the Y the, the, the Y zero, that means in the center of the car. Okay. That's where we put the biggest screen, and we make sure that you have uh, the software and uh, everything, all the connectivity that uh, supports your uh, everything you you want to connect it to. Mm -hmm. Now the cluster for us is more basic function. Mm -hmm. Actually, we want to make it a bit disappear in comparison to to what we put in the center of the car. Okay. That's a strategy we have for a couple of years now that you can see also. Uh, in the C4, for example, or in the C5X. Mm -hmm. That's interesting to know. Uh, when it comes to uh, the inter interior comfort, yeah. So you, the position of the icons and mm -hmm. even uh, no, the uh, the visual appeal. Mm -hmm. Since you have the two uh, two tone designs, now mm -hmm. one is the orange and the other one is the more grey or something. Mm -hmm. uh, any particular inspiration that you could get from India to have the two color design? Yeah, um, to bring color was super important. And if you bring a color, you have to bring something that is vibrant, that is really uh, eye-catching. So we wanted to use that, that orange on the exterior and on, on the interior as well. And at the end, it, it works well. I think we, we, we really put the quality in the materials. Mm -hmm. uh, so, of course, I think it looks great in orange, <laughs> better, better than in gray. But if, if you don't want to see the orange, you, you take the gray. Uh, the other thing is that you know, we, we split the, the, the instrument panel uh, in the length, mm. so in layers. Mm. And what this gives is a, a feeling of space that is even wider, even bigger okay. than in what we would say typical mm. SUV cars. Mm. So a bit of a contrast in between mm. the interior approach and the exterior approach as well. Yeah. In fact, uh, in the rear, I like the bottle holder. You have given a different yeah. color because it's all, everything is dark and yeah. then you have, so that is actually visually appealing. Yes. Uh, congrats on that. That's Thank you. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, any particular uh, initiative that you have taken to, uh, in the A pillar? Yeah. In the A pillar and the B pillar? Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, the the A pillar, it, this is something we, 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 we really the wanted floating. to do um, for India 
is to absolutely to have a floating roof and to to play with the the beton. Uh, it was important, and that's, that's a great way of doing it. Now the the, the C pillar. We want to make sure that we have enough strength. You know, uh, it's a compact car, but it's very robust at the end, mm -hmm. and the thickness so the of the okay. of the D pillar is is quite important. And of course, we played with color as well here, make it something graphically unique, and that works perfectly with uh, all the color combinations. But there, but there are four different colors in a car: exactly. no? the white, orange, the gray, and then the black. Yes. So yes. from the you know manufacturing point of view, it's a bit of a challenge for them, or the time taken for to assemble will be a little more. Correct. We have now four different colors, ten combinations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, we want to make sure that those combinations are very different mm -hmm. and very vibrant. Mm -hmm. and you will see that outside tomorrow. It's uh, uh, it's great to see all the cars next to each other. Yeah, and even in the interiors, I saw mm -hmm. uh, you have a provision for Twitter here, right? Mm -hmm. A provision for, and we want to make it perfect function functional. That's why it's facing you, and that's why it has this uh, um, pretty unique uh, integration. Okay. Yeah. okay. Interesting. Yeah. Come. Let him come. So overall, I think it's a, you know, it's a good package that you have created mm -hmm. you know, for this particular segment. So it's nice, nice talking to you, Pierre. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for your time. Great Thanks talking to you as well. Enlightening me on the design elements. Yes, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy thank you. the drive tomorrow. Thank you. Let us take a drive of the new C3. C3 features an imposing SUV stance, accentuating its high bonnet, split headlights, extended chrome chevrons, wheel arches with cladding, front skid plate and the fluid lean muscle exterior design form that gives it a stylish and differentiated road presence. Getting inside the car, one would feel the generous space to stretch the legs and see enough headroom. Moreover, the tropicalized air condition makes you comfortable with room for everybody and everything of a compact hatch. It has a 10 inch infotainment system and all the controls of the car are placed closer to the driver for ease of operation. Though the vehicle maker is positioning it as a compact hatch, you will enjoy its SUV stance with high ground clearance and a confident and high driving position. The new C3 is fun to drive thanks to his latest generation engines. Two options are offered in the 1.2 liter engine. The PureTech 82 mated to a 5-speed manual transmission delivers 82 PS of output and a claimed fuel efficiency of 19.8 km per liter. While the PureTech 110 with 6-speed manual transmission delivers 110 PS of output and a claimed fuel efficiency of 19.4 km per liter. The PureTech 110 makes you feel like driving a real SUV, though the PureTech 82 is not to be complained about. The car is designed with a high ground clearance of 180 mm, along with higher driving position, that is 100 mm more than some of the other sub 4 meter hatchbacks. For enhanced driving comfort, the driver's seat is height adjustable along with a tilt adjustable steering wheel. In addition, the suspension system is tuned for varied driving conditions, offering refined classic suspension dynamics for a flying compact effect. The C3 comes with a standard vehicle warranty for two years or 40,000 kilometers, whichever is earlier, and 24 by seven roadside assistance. Extended warranty and maintenance packages are also available. Overall, Citroen C3 is a great car for the city and the highways.